Hello and Merry Christmas. It's Merry Christmas from me, Orion Robots, and Merry Christmas from... Mini Orion Robots! Hurrah! Hello. Last Christmas, uh, we were building this, which was a little kind of synth kit. Uh, it was like an electronic sound calendar. This year, we've got something new. And it was only 12 days, so I've started it on the 12th day of Christmas. This was 12 days to the 24th. Okay, let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? The Pi Hut Maker Advent Calendar, the 12 projects of Christmas. And they've got a handy dandy URL here so you can kind of follow along and see what it is we're going to make. This is my kind of Christmas. So it's in this rather nice box. What have we got on the back? Not a lot on the back. Okay, let's slide it out and get a closer look. So we have some rather nice drawers and we'll start, I guess, with drawer number one. Go for it, Minnie. It is big. Let's open that up then. Kind of exciting. Look at the patterns on there. Isn't that cool? Um, it's crazy detail. And what do we have? We have on day one. Okay, we've got a USB cable and one of those 400 tie point breadboards. And these are, I like these breadboards actually. I use them a lot. So we'll just take away the cable and the breadboard. <clears throat> And then each of these rows is connected in fives with another set of five here, a different row. Uh, and what have we got in this box? We've got a little box. It Ooh. looks like a robot. Well, what does it say? Raspberry Pi Pico 8. Oh, oh. oh. So the Pico H, the Raspberry Pi Pico H, is the Raspberry Pi Pico. Except it's got one, one extra feature. Pi It doesn't, it's not a Pi cap. It does not require a soldering iron because being a H, it comes with headers pre-installed. Hey, sounds good. Cool, let's see what the first exercise is. So if you go to pihut.com slash advent, you'll be able to see the Maker Advent Calendar. There is a spoiler alert at the end of the page if you want to see all the spoilers, but we're not going to do that. Where's the fun in that? So day one, getting started. Welcome to your first day. I'm sure you'll be able to follow along. You have a Raspberry Pi Pico along with a great stash of components. And as I said, pre-soldered headers, micro USB and 400 tie point solders breadboard. So you're gonna get set up and familiar. I'll tell you about the RP2040 controller chip, which you can order separately and put into your own project. Talks about the GPIO and many programming languages and they talk about the most popular the micro python it's got a micro usb port for both power and programming so we're going to do software setup got thony already we need to install micro python so yeah you're going to go plug that in well here does it really matter uh, as long as it lines up with pin one kind of two pins below and two pins above there you go yep you got it works so now you've got to push it in no oh. oh yeah mm, it won't click it's all right. It's just it settling into place. There you go. Okay, now you see the little button named boot cell? You've got to hold that in while plugging it in. This one? Yep, that's it. Hold that in and plug it in. Uh, this way? Yep, yeah, you got it. Yay. So just just because I'm observing it, this is a nice chunky cable, which probably is good for both power and uh, data. So apparently Thonny can install MicroPython. Can it actually install? There we go. Look at that. Oh. Because we've done the boot cell, it's ready to install. Okay, just got to allow it. Done! If I type here, print hello Pico, this is running on this. Oh, wow. First program, print. We did print already. We kind of skipped, uh, jumped the gun a bit and skipped ahead. Oh, well, we did the right thing. Activity 2, lighting the onboard LED, GPIO 25. Okay, we know about inputs and outputs, so inputs is buttons or things you might want to send in, outputs is LEDs and lights. Yeah. yeah, lights, lights motors. sounds, motors, exactly. buzzers. So machine represents the Raspberry Pi Pico machine. We've got pin 25, the onboard LED, and there is a little LED, and then we're gonna turn it on. So we'll copy that, and we go, we paste in that, save to the Pico. Advent day one. Day one dot pi, yeah, okay. Told you I'm good at naming stuff. Yep, yeah. right, and we hit the play button. Yay! Okay. Tiny green LED. Guess what I changed this value here to if I want to turn it off? Zero. 
Yeah. Bye bye. Yay. Hey. What if we made it go on and off? Oh, blinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. blinky, okay. blinky, blinky. Well, we you need import. to import time. Yeah. Import time. We'll put the, after oh. we make the LED, we'll do wild true. <laughs> which I'm finding really Cabinet. hard to type at this angle. Yep, indent that. And then you do time.sleep or something? Yep. And then you do maybe 0 0.5. You can you copy those rest. two lines, paste them here, and make that one, and we should have a blinky. Here we go, one and a half second blink. <laughs> Yay! I'm such a child. Right, that's so cool, blinking lights. So, that apparently is day one complete. We created a print function, a controller physical component, that is this LED, this physical output with code. And they say, now get some rest and a good night's sleep. So no spoilers and no keep until the morning. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'll launch Thonny. Is it going to be Johnny?